Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Maz Naturals. Welcome back to another video. Now, first of all, I would like to thank my new subscribers. Sometimes I have to thank new subscribers because it's a bit rude not to, isn't it? And also I want to thank my old subscribers for sticking by me through thick and thin. So today's video is going to be my lock journey. I didn't start my locks on YouTube, which I did sometimes, but it doesn't matter because I still share my experience. I share my highs, I share my lows on this journey. And I just wanted to kind of, I just wanted to speak more in depth by showing you photos as we go along. So if you're interested in where I started and where I am now, then keep on watching. So guys, before I started my locks, my hair used to be relaxed. In this picture, obviously it's relaxed. It's, and I used to wear it just sleek back. That was my go-to style, in a nice sleek, chic um, ponytail. Then I had it cut short. My sister's a hairstylist, so she cut my hair short, back and sides, back in the day. Then I had my hair shaved off one uh, to a number one before I actually started my lock journey, which I started my lock journey with comb coils, if you didn't know. I started with comb coils, my friend did my hair. And I did all sorts of styles. This one, pipe cleaner curls. <laughs> that was my go-to style, was pipe cleaner curls back in the day. As you know, I didn't start my lock journey on YouTube, but um, I've had to my locks for over, wow, 20, two years now so i've been through the mill and back guys anything to do with locks i'm not saying i know everything but i've experienced a lot with my locks and i used to do a lot of styles as you could see in the pictures and used to do a lot of curly styles a lot of updos um you know then i started coloring as you can see in this picture it's colored jet black that was when the color faded and um, it was good for a time um, experimenting with color but then after a, a while I noticed a lot a lot of thinning and that's when I first started coloring my locks in that picture I noticed a lot of thinning a lot of breakage it was so lovely at the beginning but you can see in this picture the color had faded and that's when it started to break and started to thin at the ends and all sorts and you can see in this picture how thin it was to me it looks thin anyway because i know how my hair was in the beginning and um yeah i went through a lot of problems with it so i just used to put it up and try and do styles where it didn't look so obvious that it was kind of breaking down basically um this when i had no color in this picture it was 2017 uh, i remember that date because um i can't remember why but i just remember it was 2017 and um yeah my hair just kind of got shorter and shorter <laughs> i used to keep clipping the ends that were thin and breaking and um, this was at its best, actually, when I curled it. It was quite strong then. And I did use to deep condition and stuff like that, but it still took its toll. And because um, I used to just mess around with my locks so much, it just kind of um, broke. So um, I decided not to colour it anymore. I used to use the box dyes. I used to use bleach and then the colour on top. So that's why I think it broke off because my hair couldn't take it, couldn't take that pressure of the bleach and the colour on top. And um, yeah, after a while, because it just disintegrated. This wasn't coloured, that was coloured, that picture. My hair was coloured jet black. The box dye stay, stay soft row I used to use back in the day, about two boxes. And um, yeah, it, it's... It's a journey, guys. It is a journey. That's why you call it a lock journey. So 
I would just advise anyone who's coming on this journey just to take their time, do your research and you should be okay. But my journey wasn't, it was good, but this bit was the worst bit when my hair was breaking and stuff like that. It was very stressful and I was going to cut it off and I did cut it in this picture. I chopped it and then it started to start growing back stronger. So there you have it. So I would advise guys, if you're going on this lock journey, do your research, um, make sure your hair's healthy and strong, don't do too much and you should be good to go. So thank you for watching my video guys. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell so you'll be alerted of my next uploads. So as always, stay blessed, stay beautiful and stay uniquely you and i'll see you all in my next video thank you for watching Mwah.